Okay, so I just went to the farmer's market. It's very exciting to go to the farmer's market here because there are farms. Um, and not farms like petting zoo farms. I thought Muscoot Farm in Westchester was an actual farm, but it turns out that you can like pet the chickens. And so maybe you weren't supposed to pet the chickens. I didn't. Okay, so anyway, um, we went to the farmer's market from Real Farms and I found great food, right? Like a green beans and some other fun things like hold please. Like asparagus. It's purple, so it's pretty and I'll probably eat it. Um, and microgreens. What the fuck are those? I don't know, but they sounded healthy and the guy had a crazy beard and I was like, oh, we're still not done with beard oil, but that fad will change soon. Anyway, what am I saying? So I wanted to do this video because um, there's only one way that I'm going to eat veggies and it's the same way that I'm going to buy products I don't need. Packaging. I am a total sucker for packaging. If you make it look pretty in the packaging, I'm gonna be like, you know what's a good idea? That, right? Like, oh, those are cotton swabs, who needs those? I don't really need cotton swabs, I already have like 100 cotton swabs. Put them in a glass jar and we're done, we're done. Sold, I love you, I need cotton swabs, I've always needed them. The ones that I have are subpar, even though they're identical, and I need this item. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my veggies so that I actually eat them. Because look, look, a little before and after action. Okay, so these carrots were not procured from the farmer's market. I mean, I'm sure they came from a farm, but right now they're in a plastic baggie. And when I see this plastic baggie, I'm not gonna eat them. You know why? Because it's ugly, right? What? It's like slimy and shit. Like what about that looks appetizing? Absolutely giddly gosh darn nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make all of these things look beautiful, right? So it's gonna be a before and after. I'm gonna try and weave the videos together. Then I'll fail miserably. Then I'll post two videos. Anyway, we'll see. Maybe I'll have success. But, so here are my carrots in a bag. Here are my green beans I don't know what I'm gonna do with. Here's my asparagus with the weird like lobster claw thing, you know, for lobsters, but it's not a lobster because it's not alive. And, and, Right, what the hell is this? Peekaboo, it's collard greens, it's collard greens. So we're gonna see what I can do with those. Apparently people wrap up sandwiches in them and then eat them. Um, that, there's no bread there, which is depressing, but like maybe it's good. Um, I, have, I have tomatoes, Ooh. and I have this like lettuce that looks really like fresh and delicious. So um, I'm super excited because I'm gonna put these into containers and like I said, then they'll be pretty enough to eat and hopefully it'll work because what happened, what happened? Oh my God, I didn't even get to tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened while I cut these green beans into beautiful things. So by the way, I already washed them um, because fruit flies are a problem. And let me tell you something, ain't no fruit fly getting in my house. I have special toothbrush utensils to clean in special places. I don't like dirt. I don't like grime. I like to clean it, right? But then I like for it to disappear and never come back. Sometimes it comes back, but you know what? You're like a fucking dirt ninja. You can get in there before it ever comes back, right? Where am I going with this? Fruit flies. So fruit flies, a little bit more prevalent if you buy from the farmer's market, but guess what? Ooh. Right, I reuse this bottle. Um, but if you put lemon juice, vinegar, cold water and a little splash of something. They say grapefruit extract scent, but like I don't have that shit. So I don't know what I put in there. Um, something that smells good. Um, and you wash the produce with it, then the fruit flies won't come around. <sighs> Tips, okay. So anyway, like I was saying, I am on this fresh food kick because guess what I have been eating um, since before the move? Garbage trash. Right, and what do I mean by that? I mean, if you are a meth addicted trucker, you and I have a lot of food preparation in common, um, right? So first of all, you're nervous because you're selling a house and moving into a house, especially in like an area that you've never really been before. So you're all like, <laughs> right? So there we go, meth addicts. Um, stop doing that, please, it's unhealthy, right? And, and what I've been eating, shit you can put in a microwave and bread items and carb items that come out of a box. That's not where those things should come from. That didn't grow in nature, right? So these were all poor life choices. 
So I have gained back an exceptional amount of percent body fat, right? So I'm not saying like, <laughs> right? Um, I'm not whining, I'm whining. Uh, but I've gained back a lot of percent body fat and I'm salty about it. So now I'm working out again and I am cutting vegetables and we'll just see how that goes.